Hey everyone, it's Jennifer Ettinger, CTV PR social media correspondent. And it may be gray outside, but it is bright and sunny <laughs> in here at Facebook Canada headquarters because I'm with the winners of last night's episode of The Launch, Elijah Woods and Jamie Fine. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank Woo! you. Yeah. What a ride. You know what it what a ride it has been, yeah. yeah. I know it probably everybody's asked you this, so I apologize. Oh. It's the end of the day. We see we're getting relaxed. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? Uh, it's been it's been a crazy ride. Um, it's it's pretty wild to have this all happen um, in the fall and then sit on it for three months and then um, try to tell no one. And then um, <laughs> was that killing you? Like oh yeah, it completely us. burns you up inside. Sure. Um, were people trying to find out? Totally. Oh <laughs> absolutely. Oh my god. Like, and people would come up to us like <laughs> like they'd be like so like you won and we'd be like. Well, you'll have to tune in, and they'll be like, "But you won." Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but and you have to, to tune in. Like, you try to dig it out. Oh. And you're like, all right, well, cool. Well, you I'm think what you human. want. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Cool. But we also should say that not only did they win, they do have the number one song on iTunes right now. We do. So yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah, we just found out a couple a uh, couple hours ago that we were well number one. Well done. Yeah. That's awesome sauce, so you guys. That's yeah. really cool. Awesome sauce. Awesome I love sauce. it. I love that. We're very serious here. Yeah. Pretty conservative. Yeah. Yeah, that right? Yeah, exactly. exactly so yeah. take me back. So it was three months where it was banked. You weren't able to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Um, but take me all the way back to how the two of you connected on this musical journey. Yeah. Um, so Jamie and I independently have been pursuing music since well, probably a decade ago mm -hmm. each. Um, and uh, we met when I was at Algonquin College. I was studying music there. And I heard Jamie's voice through an iPhone and flipped out. And yeah. uh, as we all know now, Jamie's voice is a little infectious. So it kind of... <laughs> kind of grabs you and, and keeps you um and i dragged her in the studio that saturday that saturday sorry and um it, kind of the rest is history we kept writing music and um uh, we met our manager about a year year and a half ago and he was like hey this music's really good because um, at the time we were just writing demos mm -hmm. actually for other artists um we were we were really passionate about it uh, and still are passionate about writing for other artists um and doing production for other artists so uh, taking that music and, and finishing it and, and making it really our own um it's been wild because the because the reaction has been insane. It's been mm -hmm. genuine. People people seem to get us, which is really weird because we're pretty normal people. Yeah. Like, but to that point, there's so many things going on in my head. No, no, yeah. Yeah. no. jump on. Yeah, just jump on uh, this whenever you like. Of um, wanting to make people feel real. Mm -hmm. So that obviously you're delivering that by people resonating to you being who you are and yeah. so transparent that I think that's your secret sauce. <laughs> First of all, really secret sauce is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 sauce and everything. I love it. But I think that is your mojo. Totally, it's what we're all about. It's what we represent, right? Like it, it's just we we love doing this thing, and that thing happens to be music, yeah. and we wanted to make it our career, and the launch kind of fell on our laps, and it was just such a normal process, yeah. and and we feel, you know, when people are like, "How do you feel with the number one song in the country?" and it's like great of course like <laughs> yeah. it's but it's it's so um of course it's an honor and of course it's incredible but it, it we just this is us this is it like yeah, we're chilling we're, we're, we're you know what i mean like we try to stay as grounded as possible because we think that's so important mm -hmm. um as artists and as people um and i think that's often how you know artists kind of get burned out initially is yeah. they just get they get too excited and they, they get too too amped up and they just yeah. want to kind of go 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 we're trying to take a breath and and realize that this is one of many things that, yeah. that that hopefully will come our way. Keeping real, taking a breath, in yeah. the moment. Yeah. Love yeah. that. Yeah. And so, when you were watching yourself last night, was it like you were watching a digital diary <laughs> of the experience? And were you connected exactly to those same emotions, or because it was in the can for you know three three months or so, and it was filmed? Were you able to separate, or were you like, oh my goodness, I remember that same feeling at that same time? <laughs> How yeah. was that experience? I think it's cool because like you forget a lot of the emotions that you're that you're feeling at that point. Like it's so real and so current then. And um, Jamie's been saying all today that we like black out during the performance, and then right after they like give you a compliment, and you're like, whoa, that happened like <laughs> so wild. Like during the audition round. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty blown away. But Scott Warshetta compared Jamie to Adele. And, yeah, um, I, I, bang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I like, I have nothing but respect for Adele. Um, but I, I definitely hear that infectious quality in Jamie's voice. Absolutely. Too. And how did you find that voice? I don't even know, was man. It in the it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, my first, it's not even a memory that belongs to me. But um, my babysitter, my old babysitter, used to say that. Um, 
or told my family, I think at some point, that I used to sing O Canada at daycare, which I think is like the most hilarious thing in the world because I still can't remember the words O Canada. I'm the worst Canadian ever. Um, but uh, I must have mumbled them or something. But at like four years old in daycare, I was singing O Canada, and I didn't... Music was still a huge part of my life. My dad's a pianist. I grew up with music all around me. But it wasn't until like grade seven when I was like 11, 12 years old where I was like... Oh, like I can sing. Like I think I, I, I sang something in the shower or something, and I was like, "Oh, I think I can sing." And it was weird <laughs> because it, I, rem, I remember the I remember the I don't remember where I was, but I remember the moment. I remember the thought in my head. It was very odd for me. Yeah. Um, and and then I never looked back. It was singing every sing. It's funny when you if I said to you today, like I'm gonna do a pull up once a day for the rest <laughs> of my life. It's like okay, <laughs> but music I did every single day for my entire life since grade seven. And I can say that wow. how, mm. how long after my yeah. brutal age of 24, yeah. um, I can say that I did it every single day. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. It just flows through you, both of you. And I think again, that's what that dynamic of transparency. I really believe Elijah, you could start a sentence and Jamie, you would be able to finish the sentence. So let's try it. Finish each other's <laughs> try it. sentences. sentences. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Weird. you have that skill strength, and I think that the uh, Scott and the mentor saw that you had such a special synergy that I think that pulled you away yeah. from everyone else. And you blew me away like a, a thoroughbred when you had your phone out and you were in the recording studio with Ryan and you were singing. I think you were um, having writing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just owned that like there was no tomorrow. Yeah. Like I, I truly felt like I got goosebumps. Thank you. Thank you. And you pulled away from everyone else. I, I felt like that was you saying, this is my moment and no one's going to get in the way of this right now. <laughs> and you totally pulled away. Did you feel that when you were singing? Because you had such an air of confidence. Yeah, um, that's our comfort zone, right? That's what Elijah and I do um, every day. Uh, it was, we work on the studio, and that's the kind of pace. We work at a very similar pace as Ryan Tedder. Being in the studio with him was such a collaborative process. Mm -hmm. Like He wanted it to be a collaboration. He's the one who opened the floor for that. Um, and I think that's what made us feel really comfortable, because that's who we are as well. Mm -hmm. um, and Elijah, I can't say enough you know, about him as a producer. Um, and you know, walking in there, bursting in there, you know, being ready to show his ideas, um, ultimately, that's you know that's how we got writing credits on the song, right? Where we're we're sitting, our names are sitting right next to Ryan Tedder and Camilla Cabello, which is pretty that's crazy. So crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's insane. And just to just to speak to Jamie when she's in the studio, um, I think that's one thing that I really gravitated towards um, when we first started working together. Is no matter what you throw at her, um, she's just kind of like she digests it. She's like, yeah, I'll do that. Like I don't <laughs> care. And then she does it, and you're like, how did you do it better than I explained? I explained it. Like <laughs> cool. you'll give her a lyric, and she'll be like, oh, you should flip it like this. And you're just like, what? Like, why and how does your brain work like that? Like it, it, it continues to blow me away. And I know Jamie, Jamie Fine had said no. Like it's not. Uh, yeah, you know me. There's yeah. nobody that knows me better than this guy. Yeah, and it's it, it still doesn't cease to amaze me. So it's um, I think our journey is about constantly learning and constantly growing, um, and that happens sort of in every aspect of our lives. Well, you're so incredible in studio, both of you. Like I was blown away by your musical talents as Thank well. You. It's totally Thank an exchange you. of energy between the two. And with that, since we're at Facebook, this is our Facebook. let's get social. Facebook. How has social PR helped you? Uh, social PR is really everything. Like you think about 2018 and it's about creating a new medium, um, or not a new medium, but uh, making a relevant medium to target a new demographic. Um, it's, it's so easy to be in little online bubbles of, of little communities. Um, like we have such an amazing support system in Ottawa and I'm from Perth, which is like the middle of nowhere. Um, but one thing I can always really relate to is that I can be in my basement in Perth, Ontario, and write a song. Like, for example, our first, our first release wouldn't be enough. I literally wrote in a basement in Perth, Ontario, and it has over a million listens on Spotify now. Wow. Um, and that's international. I think wow. it's been 60 countries. 60 like, countries have gone in that, and that's all because of social yeah, networking, crazy. right? Yeah, it's that's crazy. fabulous. I, I, I don't even understand it. Like, it's like, it's one of those things where you put stuff up online, and you're just like, how do people even find this? Like, I don't understand. Like, I share it to my little circle, and then that, share, that little yeah. circle shares it to something else, and, and from there you kind of get this uh, snowball effect, and it's... It's really strange. I think it changes the game, but it also gives an advantage to the little guy. Um, I'm a huge believer in um, if you want something, work hard for it, and then work harder than anyone else you know, and then work a little bit harder for it. It's It gives an unfair advantage to someone who can divide their time completely unevenly. Like, if you can spend all your time doing something and really focusing on that, you have a platform already. That's like, right. you, you have the medium to connect to your fans. You just have to put that little bit of effort in there. 
Mm -hmm. I love that. So guys are worker bees. Yeah, so so energy much. exchange happening. <laughs> and with that energy exchange, I know it's at the end of the day, but you know what's coming. I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, Do it. you guys will sing. What? Like yeah, Easy. I wish. Like, do you want to give me like a little bee? Loving you ain't easy. It's fire and then it's rain. It's fire and then it's rain. I said, loving you ain't easy. Ooh, but baby, you what I crave, and I wouldn't want to waste it. Woo! I love it. You guys, congratulations. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you so much. We are here with number one song in Canada, <laughs> and we want you to follow all things social using the hashtag, The Launch.